Hi, I'm Shane. I just wanted to post on here. I recently had a problem with uh, hydrogen sulfide. So gas buildup in your um, substrate. As you can see, I mean, everything looked just like this in my tank. It looked nice and clean, but my under gravel filter ended up failing and I clogged up with uh, organic matter creating uh, hydrogen sulfide. The fish started acting lethargic. They laid around on their sides, the top on their sides, gathered by the filter. It's kind of the same reaction you get with any gas buildup in the in the water. Uh, as far as even chlorine or ammonia, it's the same thing. They got chemical burns on them. You can see that one has white patches on it. Let's see if I can zoom zoom in here. See that white patch on there? Well, that was a lot worse. Sorry, I'm not too steady, but uh, this one has some stuff on them too. See that? That's all from uh, hydrogen sulfide. I had to clean my substrate extensively. Oh, the, the yellow one has some on this side over here. I don't know if you can. Uh, where do you go? Oh, that's a good example. Right there, see that? But um, those are the worst. Oh, this one's pretty bad too. He was a weak one to begin with. Actually, he had a parasite. I had to get rid of. Just got over that, and then I had this gas problem. And I searched, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with. It. I did water changes, just changing the water. Uh, it really had me stressed out. And there ain't a lot of videos on hydrogen sulfide, so so I let you know. So if you dig in your substrate and you get a lot of uh, bubbles coming up out of the substrate or something, do not open that pocket, do not mess with that substrate until you get ready to suck it out, vacuum it out clean with uh, whatever you have, if you got a siphon cleaner or uh, one you hook up to the hose, uh, to the sink, yeah. And uh, they, they should start acting normal pretty much right away. You should change the water, just keep changing it while you're doing that. Uh, I do a little, change a little, do a little, change a little. Do it like that. If you got a sump, you know, change it in your sump while you're doing it. So, but uh, just thought I post that on there. This is back to my uh, true passion here, and I do have a product that I'm going to be letting out, unveiling here in the next couple months. That uh, is specifically for discus. I designed it. Uh, it works really well. Um, besides this point, I guess I let. I wasn't paying attention to my substrate and let it go. Again, this is Shane. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you want. I'll be having a lot more videos on these topics and other topics as well. Alright, and do it yourselves too. So, have a good day.